Given the prevailing Red Bull driver narrative, Daniel Ricciardo stopping Sergio Perez from doing what Red Bull asked of him in Mexican Grand Prix, qualifying feels like a scene straight out of drive to survive. It's all so perfect for a hammed-up Ricciardo versus Perez seat showdown episode. The question marks over Perez's future. Ricciardo's return from injury, Checo's home race, and a Christian Horner quote in Friday's press conference that's begging to be turned into a talking head, where we want him, Perez, to be, and ideally need him to be, is to be in those first couple of rows. Cut to Ricciardo crossing the line in qualifying, going fourth fastest, and claiming that second row for himself, denying Perez that targeted result in the process. Clearly the AT-04 is working well in Mexico, but Ricciardo has been excelling from the first session. He has a good track record here. It's the only place other than Monaco he's earned a pole position in F1, and that has continued so far. Eighth, sixth, and ninth in free practice, then third, fourth, and fourth in the three qualifying sessions. Ricciardo will need to do a lot more than just have one strong weekend and one high-flying qualifying result to get the Red Bull racing return he really wants. But if it really is grounded in a change he understands and has driven, then it suggests it can be sustained beyond just here. And more results like this will turn a slightly quizzical, maybe Ricciardo can offer Red Bull what it needs, into a much more concrete, oh, Ricciardo can offer Red Bull what it needs. If you layer that on all the other aspects that make Ricciardo such an appealing option, commercial value, his experience, and his relationship with Verstappen, then his case gets a lot stronger. It will no longer just be dependent on Perez underwhelming and Red Bull wanting to get rid of him. It will add a pull factor in Ricciardo's favor. None of this means Perez does not or cannot offer as much as Ricciardo can, or even that any or all of the above factors do not apply to Perez either. It is actually not about Perez at all. It's purely about Ricciardo offering something extra. Since Ricciardo put himself in contention for the AlphaTauri seat mid-season, a key question has been what Red Bull actually saw in him as a racing driver given the damaging two years at McLaren. Red Bull, Ricciardo, and those around him are adamant that he has unraveled the tangled mess his driving technique had been left in and was capable of getting back to his best. His performance so far at the Mexican GP is the first tangible sign of that.